Well, hello there, this is Cool Dude Clem giving yet another update on the Star Kids Episode 5. Anyway, I'm happy to say that most of it is done, apart from the first few minutes, because I still haven't had Ashley's lines, so I cannot do the first few minutes of the thing, but all the rest of it is done. And also, speaking of voice actors, on episode 2, you might remember the girl with the tape recorder, who sounded like this. Hi! I know we don't get along and stuff, but I was wondering, could you fix my tape player? It just ate my tape and now it's all jammed in there. Well, now she sounds like this. Hi! Um, you're pretty smart and stuff, right? I was wondering if you could fix my cassette player for me. It just ate my tape, and now it's all jammed in there. Because Red's voice actor um, contacted me and said that she wanted to voice her, so yeah, so okay, so I've redone episode two, so that's what we're going to watch right now, and then we're going to see, you know, episode five. Mo, man, what are you doing? You can't do that. You gotta pick up the robots and take them where they need to go. You could have told me that. It did say right there. Oh man, someone's at my door. Quick! Hide! Hi! Um... You're pretty smart and stuff, right? Uh, yeah? I was wondering if you could fix my cassette player for me. It just ate my tape, and now it's all jammed in there. Really? You want my help? I thought you all hated me. I kinda don't hate you. Actually, I kinda like you. And I thought if anyone could fix it, you can. Okay then, I guess I could have a crack at it. Give it here. Here you go. Thanks. Bye. That was close. Yeah, I know. People don't usually call on me for things. Oh. You will keep this a secret, right? It's just that if the other kids found out I asked you to help, they... might... um... Oh. You okay? Oh my gosh! It's in your room! Uh-oh. Busted. Oh wow. I hope she doesn't spill the beans, man. See? I told you everyone is afraid of me. Are you in there? Open up! You're in serious danger! Um, no, I'm okay. Everything's cool here. We know the TD is in your room. It must be dealt with! Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Okay, um, okay, I got an idea. You hide under the bed this time, and if anyone comes in, I'll try to hold them off, okay? No one's gonna get in, but if they do, don't make a sound. Got it? Look, we know it's in there with you. We heard you both talking. Just open the door. All we want to do is save you. No, it's just me here by myself, uh, like, just talking to myself. Like, what gives, man? You can't just bust in here like this. I already told you, we know TD is in your room. As soon as we found it, we'll leave you alone and you can go back to doing whatever it was you were doing. But TD's not here, man, and even if he was, I don't think he'd be trying to kill me or anything. I don't think he's bad, I think he's just, like, misunderstood. <laughs> hey, there's something under the bed. Uh, no, there's nothing to see here. Aha! <laughs> Gotcha! Hey, not cool, man. Let him go. He's done nothing wrong. Not yet, but it would have sooner or later. Thank goodness we found it. Plus, there's a reward with my name on it right now. I said let him go! Ow! You, you little... No way are you going to take him from me. But you don't understand. The TD is evil and will eventually kill you. For your own safety, you must give it up. But he's my friend, and you're not going to hurt him. Really? You sure? 
Okay then, I guess it really is the only way out. If you won't let me have a friend, the only thing that makes me happy, then I don't want to carry on anymore. I'll jump. I mean it. I'll jump. Okay, you just calm down. Think a minute. Is this really what you want? You've got so much more of your life ahead of you. <laughs> yeah, and when you hand it over, we'll all go, and you can go back to doing whatever. No! <gasps> I told you I'd jump. They're still trying to catch us. Look. Good luck, losers, because we're like up here and you're down there. Hey, come on, man. What's up? We're going down. Do this anymore? You're too heavy. Oh, thanks. Where are we going? I don't know. That train. I think we can make it. Look, the door on that truck is way open. So long. Suckers. Lucky escape there, fellas. Oh, uh, sorry. We didn't know this place was, like, occupied. Don't mind me. Well, it's nice to have some company. So, you guys on the run? Something like that. Kind of running away from the man. Everyone there wants to kill my friend. That cute little guy? <laughs> well, why? Because they're insane. Told you this train stops here. Come on, open up. We know you're in there. Oh, can't an old man rest in peace? Hey, like, what's the noise all about? Looks like the end of the line, boys. We'll stay here all day if we have to. Oh no, tell me that's not who I think it is. Can't they leave us alone for like one second? Looks like they followed us. Those are the ones who were chasing you, right? Oh man, I mean, totally. I mean, it is them. I mean, oh man. You okay? You look... Freaked out? Yeah, that. Too right I'm freaked out. You won't believe who's outside. They've been following us all night. Like, this is the end, man. Well, maybe not. There's no one on this side. You could sneak out this way. I'll try to stall them. But what about- Don't worry about me, just go! Come on, we don't have all day! Well, actually, we do have all day, but are you gonna open that door or do we have to break it down? Alright, I'm coming. Can't an old man rest in peace? Finally! Now I believe you have two others here with you? No, I don't think so. There's no one here except me. They must have escaped somehow. I know they were here. I'm sure his little floating friend could have escaped. Well, I didn't see no one, and this train don't stop till it gets here. Hey, there they are. Over there. They found you! Run! So anyway, now on with episode 5. Well what I've done of it so far. Oh, 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 can I come too? Please? Can I? Can I? Can I come and help? I don't know. It could be really dangerous. We don't know what's going on over there. They could have, like, laser cannons ready to shoot us down or something. Oh, come on! Please! Ok, 
Okay, okay. Just try to stay out of trouble. I just can't say no to you when you do that. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. Knew I forgot something. Good thing I can do it from in here. Almost there. Better lower the magnetic landing pad. Uh oh. Oh man, this is not good. What's happening? We're crashing, that's what's happening. I guess that other ship has its own gravity, and putting the magnetic pads down is like pulling us in even more. Well, do something! I can't, it won't respond. The magnetic force is way too strong, it's holding them out. Hold on, man! Like, ow. Your sister's not going to like this. Hi, Clem. Thought I'd find you up here. Oh, Jane. Hi. What do you mean you thought you'd find me up here? Well, just lately, this is where you've always been. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just a bit homesick, I guess. It's just... Well, look out there, Jane, and tell me what you see. Space? Yes, Jane, that's just it. Space. Nothing but space. No alien wars going on. No stuff being sucked into a black hole. No supernovas exploding. Nothing. And definitely no sign of the new planet we're going to live on. Wish I'd never come on this stupid trip. But we had to go, Clem. You know how bad things got back on Earth. We'd probably be dead if we'd stayed. Well, I'd be a lot happier. I mean, at first it was kind of exciting, you know, going to another planet to live on. But I thought by now we'd see at least something out there. And there's nothing. They did say it would take some time to get there. We've only been out here five months. Five months? We've been out here for five years! Um, no, just five months. Well, it feels like longer! Are you ever gonna cheer up? Or are you gonna stay mopey like this? Nope, and yep. Oh, I can't stand much more of this. I'm going to the arcade with the others. Wanna come? Nah. I think I'll stay up here, looking out into space. Like I always do. Well, okay, well, you know where I'll be if you need me. Oh, Jane! Turn around! There's something out there! Huh? Look! Oh, I don't see anything. Oh, never mind. Okay, well, I'm going now. Uh, Jane, it's back! Quick, turn around! You saw it that time, right? Uh, no? Jane, there was someone out there. Oh, you mean like someone in a spacesuit? Um, no, he didn't have a spacesuit on. He looked more like, well, an alien. Oh, I get it. You're seeing little green men now. You're going space crazy. Jane, I'm serious. There was an alien out there and he waved to me. And besides, he wasn't green, he was blue. Yeah, I think you're going space crazy. You sure you don't want to come? Actually, I think I will come. Okay, guys, I'm going back in now. 
beat you again tomorrow? Yeah, well, I've got other stuff on my mind right now. Yeah, like little blue men. Let's hope you don't see any more of them. Shut up, Ricky. Psst. Hmm? Psst. Over here, man. Is that you, Ricky? No, but I gotta, like, rap with you about something. Okay, I'm coming through. Wait, before you come through, just promise me one thing. Promise you won't freak out, okay? Okay, okay, I promise I'm not gonna freak out. Okay, then. Come on through, man. Oh, good grief. It, it's... it's you. Ta-da! Like, okay, whatever. I'm going crazy, I'm going crazy. Hold on. I'm not going crazy. Weird stuff like this always happens. I should be used to this. Oh, hey, like, welcome back. You said you wouldn't freak, man. Oh yeah, sorry about that. I haven't been feeling myself lately. But who are you and what are you doing here? Uh, what about it? Wait, how do you know? I did a little snooping around. It wasn't too hard to put two and two together, but that really doesn't matter though. The thing is... You must not go to this planet. It's totally not what you think. You sure? It looked nice enough. That's just how it looks on the outside, man. If you went there, there's no way you'd survive. The inner atmosphere is pure acid, and the surface is all volcanoes and stuff. I gotta speak to your captain or whoever's steering this crate. But I think we're on some kind of pre-programmed flight or something. I don't think there is anyone driving these ships. Oh. Bummer. So what are we supposed to do? Turn around? Go back to Earth? Ooh, man, I hoped you wouldn't bring that up. Uh, something wrong? The Earth is gone. Gone? Like, totally gone. What do you mean it's gone? Someone didn't steal it, did they? Well, no, but there was this war, see, and it was so bad it blew the whole planet up. Total devastation, man. Check this out. And gave birth to five beautiful children. In lighter news, planet Earth was destroyed today when global nuclear war broke out. It is believed that global war has occurred on this planet twice before, but never to this magnitude. Also, just before the disaster, four massive ships were spotted leaving the planet, maybe saving their best and brightest. As of yet, though, we have no idea who or what is aboard. Good thing you left when you did. I could take you there myself if you still don't believe me. No, that's okay. I believe you. I'm so desperate for something interesting to happen right now that I'll believe anything. I still don't quite get you, though. Uh, why are you trying to help me? I'm a star kid, man. Keeping other people out of trouble is like what I do. Oh, and our space station is in the path of your ships. Okay, but how did you get here anyway? There's a ship I have access to. No, I mean, how did you get on board? Oh, that. I'll show you if we go to that place where you and your girlfriend saw me. Just not my girlfriend, we're just... friends, that's all. Yeah, right. Sure you are. She didn't even see you, and now everybody thinks I'm nuts. Why did you keep hiding from her? Mm, just thought it was kind of funny. Seriously, though, the Earth is gone, and that new planet is, like, way too hostile. Okay, well, I guess we could go to the observation deck, but... But? Well, it's just... well, you know. No, I don't know. You look... well, you know, kind of weird. No offense. Oh, no problemo. Uh, okay then. Gotta say, this is one awesome ship you got here. Actually, this isn't mine. I'm just a passenger here. Oh, right. Still makes mine look like a toy. 
Well, actually, it's my sister ship, but she let me use it. Uh, didn't you say you have your own ship? I don't see any other ship out there. It's not huge like yours, but you should be able to see it through a telescope. Uh, I hate to tell you this, but I think it's been hit by an asteroid or something. Uh, no, that was me. I kind of made a mistake and didn't land good. Okay, okay, so I crashed it. Red said he'd try and fix whatever he could while I'm away out here. Red? Ow! Oh! Oh, you haven't met him yet. Here, I got a picture somewhere. Oh, wow, she is hot! No, oh, that's my sister. Oh, he's adorable! I gotta go. Mum got me this pager because she never knows where I am when she wants me. Says I'm late for dinner. Thought she'd already know where I am since I spend so much time up here anyway. Oh, before I go, um, how did you get here? Like this? Forgot you wouldn't hear me out there. That was still pretty cool. Uh, what did you actually do? I just turned myself into light. That way I can go through windows and stuff like that. Can you do that with, um, things that aren't transparent? Like, um, that wall? You know what? I've never tried that. I'll do that right now. Well, that didn't work. You okay? Yep, nothing hurt except my pride, man. See you tomorrow. All right, all right, I'm coming. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Anyway, this is Cool Dude Clem, who's losing his train of thought. I have to get, you know, to get episode 5 done. But anyway, until next time, goodbye.